front end is a little bit easier again, so we just do it together as always. But it's quite easy. So we start with a chain one as you saw, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the corner space, and then two single crochet. You see here again, we've got that skipped stitch. We're making a DCBB, a double crochet behind and below into the top loops of that skipped stitch. And then a front post. And this front post is worked around that very long stitch. You see here is the end of it just peeking through from the stitch we worked over it. So we're working around that stitch with a front post treble. Skip the stitch in front of the DCBB and the one behind the one we just made. And from the next one onwards, we work three single crochet. Then there's another stitch here that we made, a special stitch. And we skip one end around below. We just fill that gap with a DCBB again. One single and another DCBB. There we go. Very easy. Skip the stitch in front of the last DCBB. And then three single crochet. Now again, we're working a front post, and on this side, it's a little bit easier to see, so we're working around this long stitch here. So that's that long stitch, and we'll work around that one, making our front post treble. A DCBB behind this special stitch, into the top loops of the skipped stitch and then skip the stitch in front of the DCBB and we finish the side with two single crochet. Let's just do it one more time together. <coughs> okay, two single crochet and I've, of course, I've done the corner single, chain two, single into the chain two space. So two single crochet, DCBB, front post treble around that long stitch here that's just peeking out from under that stitch we worked over it. Skip the right, right amount of stitches, the one in front of the DCPB and the one behind that special stitch and work three single crochet. DCPB. Single. DCPB. Again, three single, and then we're working around this long stitch here with a front post treble. See this long one? Here we go around that. A DCPB. Two single. And then the corner again. Here we go. 
you're halfway through now so just do the other half and meet me then again in round 11. Fantastic. So in terms of count, a round count, we are halfway through, but of course, as the rounds are getting bigger and longer, it takes a little bit longer to make them. So we still have to go 10 rounds with this square and we're now in round 11. We're starting with the chain one and the corner. Normal corner, and then we go with two single crochet, just like before. And again, we have a front post treble, and we are just continuing this line here. So, around that first long stitch, the first front post treble, we skip the stitch behind. And we're making one single crochet. Now see we're behind a special stitch again so we're going to make a DC BB. We'll be working around this one later so even if this bothers you it will disappear later so no need for a HDC BB in this time. The next stitch is going to be a front post treble and we're going to work it under this stitch it is crossing here. So this stitch is the one it's crossing and we just want to work around this straight treble. So we grab this and pull it through and now we're working a front post treble around it and we just fold it back. And let's see. So we skip the stitch in front of the DCBB here and then we skip the next stitch which is behind that stitch, last stitch we made. And now we've got seven single crochet. And the fourth of those should fall in the middle stitch. You can really see those middle stitches, you can, can easily discern them. So there was four, five, six, and one more. Now again, we're working a front post treble, and this time we're going on top of that. We're working over, so no working under, just normal as we always do. Work on top of it. And then you see we've got that special stitch again here, and we're working a DC BB. Close the gap behind that special stitch. And then a normal single crochet. And towards the end, a front post treble around this line. So we're just following that line here with a front post treble. The last two stitches are going to be single crochet. And that's it for this round, or oh, for this side. Just have to do it a few more times. Let's do it one more time together. Two single crochet, front post treble, following that line. A single, skip the stitch, single crochet, a DCBB. Find those front loops of that sti skipped stitch. Then that front post treble that we're working under. So we go under that stitch it is crossing and we grab that straight front post treble or treble. Fold it back. Make sure we start in the correct stitch for the first of the seven single crochet and we can see that we're on the right track if the fourth falls in the middle stitch which it does here so that's perfect five six and seven then again we're working around this straight stitch here with the front post treble and 
BCBB can only go one place, which is in the top loops of the skipped stitch. Next stitch is a single crochet. And then again, that front loop where we're following that line. Uh, front post travel where we're following that line here. Two single. And here we are in the corner. So that was quick. First half is done. You do the other half. And then we meet again for round 12. Round 12 is quite easy again. So let's start with a chain one and the corner. So unless I'm saying anything else about the corner, it will always be single crochet, chain two, single crochet. We start with three single crochet, a DCBB, see that skipped stitch, skipped stitch here, work into that, DCBB, and then a front post treble, which will be worked around the continuation. It's a continuation of this line. So we work around this stitch here, which is one ahead and two rounds below of the next stitch, if you want to count. So then we skip in front of the DCB, DCBB behind the special stitch and the next one will be a single crochet. Then we have another DCBB. Always closing those gaps if we can to a single. And now I'm going to make a travel. If that is too short for you and pulling too much on your work, by all means make a double travel. You always have the freedom or should have, should know that you have the freedom to adjust your stitches. If double travels are too long for you because your tension is very loose, then make a travel. If travels are too short for you because your tension is really tight, then make a double travel. So always adjust to what you feel is right. The main, uh, the most important thing is to see that your square is in fact square mostly. So that's a good indication. So we were making a front host travel and now we're going around this line, that stitch here. So that stitch is directly below three rounds, one, two, three rounds below the next stitch. For those who want to count, skip the stitch behind, a single crochet in the next one, and another front post treble. You see the one that's peeking out from under here? That's the one. We're going to work around front post treble. Skip the stitch behind, two single, a DCBB, a single crochet, a front post treble, and we are following this line here. So that's the one that's peeking out on this side. And I'm grateful our dog just heard something and did not bark. Fantastic. So, DCBB, and finishing off with three single crochet. I've got a Marama, he's only 18 months, I think, oh, 18, 19 months now, so he's got a really deep bark unless he's barking at the cats. Then it's really super high pitched, very funny. 
Shall we do another round together? Okay, let's do that. Three single crochet. I was just working the corner as I was talking. Let's do the second side. Three single crochet, a DCBB, a front post treble, following this line here, one ahead, two below, a single crochet. Make sure you find the right stitch. Skip in front of the DCBB and behind the special stitch and work in the next. So that's the one before this next special stitch, behind which we are going to make another DCBB. Double crochet behind and below. So now we've got two single crochet. And then that front post treble which you may want to do front post double travel depending on your tension. Following this line, so we're working around the stitch that is directly three rounds below. Skip one stitch, single crochet. Again, front post travel, following this line here. Directly three rounds below. One stitch and then two single crochet. A DCBB. Skip in front, single crochet, front post treble, around the one that's one behind and two rounds below, the one that's peeking out here, following this line. DCBB behind this stitch here and three single crochet. That's it. Half of the round is already done. Just look at the pattern or the chart. I'm actually working from the chart more than I'm working from the written pattern well, because I know the stitches and it's easy for me to read. But if you get used to the symbols, they're super easy to read, really. Um, trust me, really good. So if you don't have the pattern and you rely on the video, I really recommend to get the written pattern because the chart is included there. Oh, and of course, the legend to read it, and in combination with the written pattern, super easy for stitch placement. So have a have a think about that. It may be a really good investment. Also, you get not only the chart but the normal written pattern, and you get the the condensed version, which is super print friendly and there is a photo, photo tutorial as well so it's really it's a lot of value and a list of special stitches so whoa lots and lots of resources to make it easy for you to make this pattern should have mentioned it before shouldn't i okay so this is as i said round 12 you just do the other half and then we come together for round 13 as always, close with a slip stitch at the end of the round and slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner. So see you in round 13. Round 13. We are not superstitious. So round 13 is a good round and it's quite easy to we start chain one corner then three single crochet and again our front post treble following this line here working around the stitch one ahead and two rounds down 
three rounds below. Skip one stitch, single crochet, then a DC BB working in those skipped top loops here. Two single. And then again a front post treble. Now this one will be worked in the stitch one behind, one, two rounds below. So following this line here. This one. It's a front post treble. Skip one stitch, one single crochet. And then we've got that HTC BB again. Front to back, bring front to back, bring the hook forward, and then again front to back, so that we've got those four loops on the hook. One single crochet. Another HTC BB, front to back, back to front, front to back, and then the HTC, one single crochet, the front post treble, and this one is going to be worked from the opposite side. We're working around this stitch here, from the opposite side. Skip one stitch, two single, a DCBB, one single crochet. A front post treble, we're following this line. And finishing off with three single crochet. Here we are in the corner. Let's just do the next side together again. So three single crochet. front post treble here then one skip one stitch one single crochet a DCBB two single a front post treble and we're working around this treble here, which is one behind and two rounds below the next stitch. We skip the next stitch, one single crochet, and then that HDC BB. A single crochet. Another HDC BB, front to back, back to front, front to back, and pull through, one single, then a front post treble again, along this line here, all around this stitch. Following that line, skip that stitch behind, two single crochet, another DCBB. These are really good landmarks to see where you are up to with your stitch count. Always good to have those landmarks and see how they match or don't. Then skip the stitch in front, one single crochet. 
front post travel around this outer line here and three single crochet and one half is done again You like it so far? It's not that bad. You can start to see the pattern forming, you know, going over, going under, going over, and it will follow that rhythm going over, under, over, under in the end. So enjoy the second half of that, and we'll be together again for round 14. Round 14 is again relatively easy. Start with a chain one and a corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain two corner space, and then we begin with four single crochet. Our next stitch is a DCBB, which means we're going to work around uh, behind this special stitch here. Find those three front loops, just grab them and work a double crochet into that stitch. Now we've got a front post treble plus one minus two. So this one is going to be skipped and we're working from this stitch. So we count from this stitch. This is our next stitch. One ahead, one, two down. So we're continuing this line here. Then we skip the stitch behind the special stitch, which is this one the one after this here and then we make three single crochet and we've got our special um, stitch again the HDC BBX where we work not only in those top loops but we go in the top loops of the special stitch front to back back to front and grabbing those top loops as well and we're working a HDC into that stitch and you see that I'm just pulling it a little bit tighter so that it looks the same as the single crochet here another front post treble plus one minus two, but this one is going to be worked from the left. So we work around this stitch here. So I just grab it and then I go from the opposite side. So that's from the left for right-handers and from the right for left-handers. Then we skip the next stitch, which is this one, and then we work three single crochet to check whether you're at the right position is quite easy the second of those three single crochets goes into the top of the middle stitch and you see we've got continuation of that middle stitch here and then one more so that we've got three single crochet and then we're working a front post travel back we're going around this line here Working just a normal one, not from the opposite side. And then again, that HDCBB. So going from front to back, back to front, front to back through the top loops. And just pulling that a little bit tighter to bring it to the size of the single crochet. Three single crochet.
And then we are working again a front post treble minus one, minus two. And then we're going around this stitch here. We're continuing this line, working around this stitch which also was a front post travel, minus one, minus two, in the previous round. Again, skip the stitch behind here, and then our next stitch goes behind this special stitch from the previous round. We're working a DCBB, a double crochet, behind and below. And then we finish the side with four single crochet. And that's it. Let's do it together on the next side. Let me just grab some more yarn here. Let's just untangle it a bit. Okay, here we go. Four single crochet. Of DCBB. stitch, double crochet, then a front post treble plus one minus two, working around this stitch, skip the stitch behind and then work three single crochet. Then a HDC BB, front to back, back to front, front to back, and then pull it to the same size of the single, and a front post treble plus one, so count from this, plus one, minus two. It's the next special stitch to work around, the closest one. Now we're working three single, the second falls into the middle stitch. And then we'll work back. Front post treble minus one, minus two, one, two. It's the last special stitch here. Now, again, we're working a HDC BB, front to back, back to front, front to back. There we go, pull it a bit close, three single crochet, I need a little bit more yarn, thought I had enough, but as the rounds are getting longer, the, re the yarn requirements get more. A front post travel minus one, minus two, one, two around this stitch here. Then a DCPB. And four single crochet. And again, we are in the corner, and again, half of your round is done now. So you just continue the other half, close with a slip stitch, and we'll be together for round 15. Round 15 is relatively easy, again, so we start with our chain one and the corner, single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the chain two corner space. Then we've got four single crochet. And now we've got that front post treble that you already are familiar with, plus one, minus two. So I work that around the next special stitch here. Skip the stitch behind that and work one single crochet. Now see, we're, we've got a special stitch here again. 
So we work a DC BB. Then three single crochet. Sorry, four single crochet, four. And then we've got a special stitch similar to the one that we made in the beginning where we had a two together stitch where one goes is a front post and the other is worked behind as a DCBB. So this time, because this stitch is a bit further down, we're working a front post treble leg. And then the next part of the stitch is a DCBB which is going to be worked in the top loops of the stitch behind here. So that's all over the same stitch. So one leg goes in front and one leg goes in the back. And then we skip this stitch. This is the stitch we work over. Then we follow up with three single crochet. And the second again goes into that middle stitch. And now we work the same stitch, just the other way around. So we work the DC BB leg first, which is this one. And then we work the treble leg. And the treble leg is worked around this part here. The next special stitch. So our next stitch goes behind just after this one here, four single crochet, again a DCBB, one single crochet, and the front post treble minus one minus two, we're working around this stitch. And then four single crochet at the end of the side. And we are in the corner. So if you like, you're most welcome to join me for a crochet along of round 15 of the second side. So again, we're starting with four single crochet after the corner, of course. Then the front post treble plus one minus two. Work around the next special stitch here. Skip one stitch, single crochet in the next. DCBB, double crochet behind and two rounds below. Three single crochet. So I'm always saying three, it's four. <laughs> it's four single crochet. Then the two together stitch where we'll make the front post treble leg first and then the DCBB leg second. I do apologize for our neighbor's dog in the background. We had foxes here in the area, maybe there is one around again at the moment. Then three single crochet. And then the same stitch as before, just the other way around. First we work the DCBV leg and then we work the treble leg. Not around the next one, but the one special stitch after here. Also apologize for the rooster, he's got a lot to say today. I don't know why. And then we're working four single crochets. And one day I may have a soundproof studio. Ooh, that would be something. <laughs> a DCBB again. A single crochet. And a front post treble minus one minus two. We work around this stitch here. The last special stitch 
on this side. And then four more single crochet. And half of your square, if you follow, follow along here, is or of the round, I mean, is already done. So you just do the other half and then we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch and we continue with round 16. I've only got two kinds of special stitches in round 16. So first the chain one and the corner. And then we start with five single crochet. A DCBB that's our first kind of single crochet so the DCBB and after that four single crochet four now we've got a, a special stitch which will work it's a front post travel that goes two ahead and two below. Starting the count from this stitch, we go one, two, and one, two down. So we want to work around this stitch, but we want to have this on top in the end, which means we have to pull this one through. So I'm doing my yarn over twice, and then I just pull this stitch through here so that I can work around it. So we're working under the stitch it is crossing. And then we can just pull it back or let it go back. And we work, we skip one stitch and then we've got seven single crochet. And the fourth falls in that middle stitch again. and seven then again we are working a front post travel and this time we want this to be under the um, the stitch so what that means we just work around normally so we're working over the stitch that is crossing as we always do unless stated otherwise so this one goes under and this side goes under and this one side it goes over and then we've got four single crochet again and the DCBB so I've got three special three different special stitches and we finish with five single crochet at the end of the side we're in the corner so let's just do the next side together again so that's five single and then a DCBB four single crochet Now front post plus two minus two worked under the stitch it is crossing. So pull that through, work around it, just make that normal front post travel, and then let it go if it wants to. Seven single crochet. and then again front post travel this time 
minus 2, minus 2. And we're going over that stitch it is crossing, as we always do. Skip the stitch behind and four single crochet. A DCBB. And five single crochet. see it's not that difficult quite a simple row I think even a beginner can do most of those you just have to watch your stitch placement and you need to be familiar with your stitches of course and able to count <laughs> so Half of this round is already done, so if you want to meet me for round 17, just go around the other half, close with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of the starting corner, and then we'll be together for the next round. Still round 17 together, we start with our chain one. And of course the corner single crochet, chain two, single crochet into that chain two space. Then six single crochet. And the front post zero minus two. We're going to work around this stitch here. Skip the stitch behind, one single crochet. Now a two together stitch, where the first leg is a front post treble, which we're going to work around this stitch. So let's just do that. And the second leg is also a front post treble leg, which will be worked around this stitch there. Then we skip the stitch behind, two single crochet. A HDC BBX, go through the top loops and the top loops of the skipped stitch and work your HDC and I'm going to adjust the height of this stitch to match the single crochet before it. Now three single crochet And the two together stitch. Both legs are going to be treble legs and the first is going around leg one only of the two together stitch that we made in round 15. So there is our leg one and then leg two is going to be worked from the opposite side around leg two of that two together stitch that we made in round 15 where one part was DC BB and one part was in the so that means it was in the background layer and the other part the other leg in this side was leg two is in the image layer and we're working around the leg in the image layer three single A HTC BB going through those top loops there, then two single and a two together stitch again, both front post treble legs. First, we're going to work around this stitch here, and second, a second leg goes around this stitch following that line there and we'll work from the normal side. If you want you can work from the opposite side but I work from the normal side. Skip one stitch, one single crochet and again the front post treble. And then we finish the side with six single crochet. Mm 
Easy peasy. Let's do one more side together. So six single crochet. And then a front post treble. Skip one stitch, single crochet. Now a two together stitch. The first leg goes around here, which is straight down three stitches. And the second leg is three stitches ahead and one down. So to count. Zero, one, two, three, and one down, which is this one. There you go. Skip one stitch, two single crochet. Oh, only on only one yarn over for the HDC BB. Three single crochet, a two together with the first leg, two back and two down, working only around leg one of that stitch. And the second leg where we work from the opposite side, two ahead, two down, around leg two only. There we go. Three single, a HDC BBX, two single, a two together stitch where the first leg goes three back and one down, that's here, and the second leg goes straight down three rounds. So that's there. We skip one stitch behind, one single, and then the front post travel straight down two rounds. And then when you finish with six single crochet, you're halfway through your round. So all you have to do is to close as usual with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of the starting corner and then meet me for round 18. Round 18, we start as usual with our chain one and the corner stitches there and then we work seven single crochet then a dc bb meaning we're working a double crochet into the top loops of the skipped stitch that's behind the special stitch, one single crochet, and then two together stitch where we work a front post DC around the stitch below. And then we work into the top loops of the skipped stitch behind it, the same stitch, and that's a DC BB leg. So we work a double crochet and then we bring it together. Now make sure to find the next stitch, which can be a little bit hidden. And if you're unsure, just count back from the two together stitch there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm in the correct space there. Three, four, five and six. Now we're working a new two together stitch where we've got the DC BB leg first, meaning we're working in the stitch of that was skipped. And in the front, we work around these 
two legs here around that stitch with a single crochet. So bring that all together. And then again, six single crochet and make sure to find the first one because it may be hidden. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and now we work the DC leg first of the two together stitch that we work over this. And in the front, we work the front post double crochet in the image layer. So you work in both the image layer and the background layer. Then there is not much to skip because we worked over that stitch, single crochet in the next, and then a double crochet behind that front post treble. And we finish the side with another seven single crochet. we're in the corner where if you like we can do another side together so seven single crochet at the beginning so all my yarns be tangled DC BB behind that special stitch there a single crochet in the next, then our two together stitch with a front post double crochet like first around the stitch below and then another yarn over working another DC double crochet leg behind the same stitch and then bring it together. Make sure to find the first of six stitches for the single crochet and then our two together where we work the DC leg first behind the two together stitch and then a single crochet in front so we bring that all together like that another six single crochet make sure to find the first again My yarn is all tangly. And then uh, two together, we will work the DC leg first, and then the front post double crochet around that stitch in the image layer. And then one single crochet, a DC BB. We're almost there. Seven stitches at the end. Three. <laughs> it's very warm here and my hands are a little bit clammy. So the yarn is not really slipping well. Oh, there we are in the corner. And that's it. Halfway through round 18, you just have to repeat this last round two more times. Close the round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet. And then we're going to have a few big decisions to make before we start round 19. Remember how I said you have to make a few decisions before starting round 19. The first very important decision is whether or not you want to add a border. So if you want to add a border, then you've got a few choices. We'll talk about them later. If you don't want to add a border, then you've got some finishing options for the square. I showed you some examples in the beginning. And remember we talked about a closed arm and an open arm. So this would mean an open arm, which means that we've only got that inner design and the sides here, they stop 
there. This would be a closed arm where we've got the sides that connect to that upper part here. So that would be a closed arm. I'm going to show you the option for both. So we do them together, or I do both, and then you can decide which one you want to follow. So on the first side, I'm going to show you the closed arm option. And for that, we're going to start with eight single crochet. I've already made the corner and the chain one, but you know that by now. So eight single crochet, and then we're working a two together. The first leg of this two together stitch goes straight down two rounds around this stitch there, around that front post treble. And the second leg is a double treble leg, which goes ahead. So we're counting from the next stitch, zero, one, two, Three. So you see we've got that two together stitch there. So we just pass that and we work in the front loop only of that stitch. And this is where we're going to anchor that double treble leg. Then we skip the stitch behind and it may be a little bit long and that's okay. And then we've got two single crochet. So even if you've got loose, you have to check with your tension, but it may be a little bit longer because we're going to pull on it in just a moment. So we've got the two single, then we've got that free back loop in which we'll make another single crochet and then two more single crochet. And now we've got a two together stitch again, where we're going to work back around the stitch we just made and that stitch from where from where we're working is anchored three stitches back and one stitch below in the front loop of the stitch one below so we're referring to the anchoring point because we work around the base of this stitch not the top this is called a front post anchoring stitch or oh, at least this side, this leg, is a front post anchored leg. And there are tutorials in the Image Overlay Crochet document and also on the website that you can access. So now we have to make our second leg, which again is a double treble leg, and it goes ahead conveniently directly above this two together stitch where we work the front post single crochet around that stitch. But if you want to count, that's three ahead and one down. So in the front loop of the stitch from the previous round. We skip one stitch and then we work two single, a single in the back loop only because that's the only part of that loop of that stitch that's free and another two single crochet and we do the same again so the first leg is a treble leg but this time again worked around this stitch around that leg around leg two of that two together stitch that we just made so we work around leg two only and then the second leg is a double treble leg which we're going to work ahead zero one two three so you should arrive just before this two together from the previous round and we're anchoring our double treble leg in the front loop only of that stitch then we skip one stitch again two single single in the back loop only, two single. And now we're working the image of the stitch that we made here on that side, which is a front 
opposed leg first. And this time again, we're going to anchor it. We're going to work it around the second leg of the stitch we just made. That is anchored, three behind and one round below. And the second leg is a front post treble leg, which goes straight down around the front post treble from the previous round. And then we fill the side with single crochet. And I've got a bit of a tangle going on here. As I said, it's a bit humid. Actually, it's very humid today. So nothing is slipping as easily as it usually does. Okay, so that's the version if you want a closed cross arm. And we'll talk about that in the next round. And now to the version with the open cross arm. Open means that we leave out this part, but still we have to do some cleaning up. Uh, we have some cleaning up to do. Again, we start with eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wonderful. Okay, now in this instant, I'm just going to work a front post treble. Now, like we did the first leg, remember we did the first leg of these two together? I'm only going to work that. And then we've got 17 single crochet. And that's boring to do, so let's just speed that up as much as we can. Doing those 17 single crochet. If I was Bob Ross, I would tell you a story in the meantime. But now we're already there. So, 17 single crochet. And now again, we work our front post treble. Only that one stitch. Like only the second leg on this side. And we fill the rest with single crochet again. So you see that's pretty easy, pretty simple to do. If you were to work the special border that I designed for this square, there, <laughs> there are many many other options which are actually in your pattern. So if you get the, the pattern, then all the options are there, but they will also be explained in the special stitches border, just in preparation to work that border the way you want it to look in the end, because there are quite a few options, how you want to, how, how they could look. Okay, so halfway through, decide which, which option you prefer, and then, do that, follow that instruction either for the first side or for the second side. So this is the open arm option and the first that was the closed arm option. And they both work with the with, uh, um, border, with or without the border. So there are options what you can do to make them look both look nice. Okay, so I see you in round 20 for our finishing round.
For round 20, I've cheated a little bit because I've already worked ahead. So what you would do is you start your normal corner and then you work single crochet in the third loop. But what I wanted to show you, and this is why I already worked ahead a little bit, is the effect that you get when you work in the third loops and because they take a little bit longer. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So here I've made a third loops only beside this closed cross arm here because that was the closed version. And what I did behind was work in uh, both loops except for here where we have the two together. That's when I made a HDC BBX where I worked in the top loops and the loop behind to get that straighter line there. And you've done them before, so just in the top loops of those two together stitches. And behind these ones, I've worked a third loop single crochet at the beginning and at the end. On this side, that's the open arm option. I've worked single crochet in the third loop in each stitch around. And on this side, I'm going to show you another option. See, I ran out of yarn there. Um, another option where I'm working single crochets only because on this side, I just want the design to continue on into the special uh, square border that I'm going to add and have that as a design. And here I want to show you what you can do if you want to follow that option too because I want to still close that gap here. So what I'm going to do is I'm working one of our two together stitches again that you're already familiar with, where we go into the top loops of the skipped stitch with a DC leg. And then I'm working a front post HDC, uh, a front post double crochet around the top around both legs of that two together stitch there and then I would continue with my single crochet which should be five if I found the first correctly which it looks like I did and then um, I would also work the HDC BB but you could just work a single crochet so that's how I would work this round alternatively, or this part alternatively. And this is for the closed arm again. So I've got the, I started with the closed, then the open, and that's the closed arm again. So I've got to make the HDCs just to close the gaps and to get this line a, a little bit straighter. And then I'm working single crochet in all the others, in all the other stitches until I get to this two together stitch again, where I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to work the front post DC leg first, and then the DC BB in the background layer. And then just continue with my with my uh, single crochet in each stitch and that's exactly how I would do it here as well so for the open leg the open arm option that's exactly the same so you would work those two stitches there but instead of working around the complete stitch you only work around that one stitch it, does, it only has one leg, so it doesn't have two legs like this one here. So, but the principle is exactly the same. So, that's it from the Scottish Cross Square. And you see there are a few options and there are many more other combinations how you can continue to work depending on which kind of border you want to add. So I, I invite you to have a look in the pattern because they are all explained there and that will show you how you can continue 
and how you can prepare to continue. And other than that, there is nothing else to say thank you for joining me in this square. And I hope that you had fun doing it and that you will join me for some of the other squares. If you did like this video and found it useful, please give it a like and give it a well, like, thumbs up, whatever. And subscribe to the channel so you get notified whenever a new pattern will be uploaded or a new tutorial will be uploaded. I look forward to hearing your comments. Let me know what you... Uh, give, give me some comments. Tell me what you like about it, what you don't like, how are you going to plan to continue, what's your finishing option, what's your yarn, maybe even. And in case you're asking, I'm using the cotton from Linkcraft in that case for this tutorial because it it's easy to work with for the tutorials and I really like the uh, consistency of the yarn. And no, I'm not getting endorsed for that. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, I look forward to seeing you again in one of the other tutorials. At least I'll be on my side and I know that you will be on yours. Take care and have a great time. Bye.